What is happening guys, welcome back to the channel and to episode 2 of this little Cali Transformation mini-series. So in the last one you saw we stripped all the inside of the van out, got all the plow lining out, B pillar trims, all of that jazz is all out of the van, ready for us to then be able to carpet it. First thing we had to do was clean everywhere and fit the sand deadening, which makes a massive, massive difference. I'll show you in a minute a little tap test to just, you can't really pick it up on camera, you may be able to. Um, this episode, we're going to be focusing on putting the carpet onto the metalwork. Like I said in the last one, I've done it to loads of T5s, never done it to another van. We shall give it a go. It's all pretty much the same process. First thing we need to do though, hopefully you can see that, but we've got these holes in the metalwork here um, that we're going to be carpeting over. Now, you want to go over those with some aluminium, aluminium tape. Um, if you don't do that, you'll get the air that comes sort of through the hole and goes through the carpet, the dirt that's in the air will stain the carpet and you'll get marks all over the inside of your van. So any holes that you're carpeting over, make sure that you cover in an aluminium tape um, or a tape of some sort, this is just really strong, um, and then you won't get marking on your carpet. So that's the first job I've got to do is go over and cover absolutely everything that uh, won't be covered by ply in this foil tape. But let me just show you this little tap test and see if you can pick it up on camera. Right, rear corner of this extremely clean and well-kept caddy van. So this back door at the moment hasn't got any um, sand ending in it. Really tinny. This is loaded with sand ending. Solid, so. So it's, yeah, sounds much more solid, nicer. This is really tinny. Um, it just stops, as you drive down the road, the wind buffers against these panels and it, the sand deadening makes the panel more solid and just stops the panel from vibrating and making a booming noise as you're driving down the road. Same on the floor, same on the roof. Now we've done that, I'm going to get my tape and make a start on covering all of these holes up. I imagine it's going to take quite a while because there's a lot of them. So there's them done. Um, all of the holes that are going to be covered by carpet are now covered over with aluminium foil tape. I did make a bit of a mistake. I covered over the holes down here along the top both sides uh, with tape before I stuffed them with insulation. So went back, punched a hole, stuffed them with insulation and then I've taped over the top of them again. Won't matter that there's two lines of tape on there, the tape's that thing, you'll never see it through the carpet. So that's that piece done now. We're going to have to start um, putting insulation in. I like to do it now before carpeting. Um, down these bottom ones, um, we can then carpet over and leave the carpet on there and sort of an extra barrier um, sort of for insulation purposes and sand in it. So I'll get the roll of insulation now. Super easy to work with. So Dodo do two different thicknesses. They do this one, which I believe is 100 mil. And they do this one, which I believe is 50 mil. Um, and you've got obviously thicker and thinner. Thinner one I tend to use for the roof because the ribs on the roof aren't anywhere near as deep as the wall thickness. We're only going to be insulating the lower areas. These top areas are not going to be insulated because we're just going to carpet over them um, and sort of get in all the indents and create a bit of a feature out of them. I'm not going to go putting panels over the top. Again, this stuff, easy to work with. All you've got to do, it rips. So we'll just set another time lapse. I'll get all these bits insulated um, and then we can start going.
that's all the insulation and everything um, put in all the cavities and sorted then time to start on the carpet this carpet is a automotive grade carpet and it's got four way stretch to it as well uh, meaning you can get it into around all these complex shapes now i have been told by a few people that these two rear corners are pretty difficult to get into we'll give it a go see how we can get on i'm going to go and do it i'm going to try and use the same technique that i use um, on the t5 to sort of start along the top work your way down the middle and then work your way out and um, we should be able to do the whole side roof to floor front to back in one piece on the metal work um, including getting it all into all of these bits and getting it looking nice and neat so again there's not really much more to do other than set the camera up go for a time lapse get on with it Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. Let's rewrite the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance, not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. It's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid We'll be okay And I know it's the right thing to do Let's break away All colors will fade Let's go our own way Now's the time to decide what to do And I'll stand by you emotions the first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway but that's just the place to start the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh, oh. And there we have a carpeted van so that side's all done finished sealed back on looking absolutely trick and then that side looking absolutely awesome much much nicer than just being a panel van so we managed to get into all the corners this whole side is one piece um picked out all the details of the two panels as well um up to the roof and then the join is somewhere here and there's a cover cap that goes over this to put back on which is all hide it nicely i've got to trim that piece there and trim that front edge which is the next job today is trim them front edges and then we can get the b pillar covers back in I've got to put the sides, the slide loading door step in first because that pillar sits on top of that step. So that can go back in. So as far as I'm aware, it isn't like a T5 where you can get a deeper side step um, to take up for the thickness of the floor. I don't think anyone does anything for that. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, please let me know. I would like to know. Um, so we're just going to have to do something a bit, pull the carpet around the edge is what I'm thinking of the flooring at the minute. Um, somehow try and stick a bit of it on. I don't know, we'll sort it out in a minute anyway. Um, yeah, so side step, B pillars, both sides, trim it all back, get them on and back in and finished. And then either the floor or the headliner, because we've got to cut them. I've been and bought a sheet of nine mil, which is going on the floor, and a sheet of three mil, which is going on at the roof, um, to make new ones, because the ones that came out won't work. So still plenty to do. Get these B pillar trims fitted. There we go, B pillar trims all fitted back into the van, looking nice and trick. Uh, down here, yeah, looking mega. Seat belts are all back in and bolted in. 
Now we've got a gap at the back here that we're gonna have to try and sort out. Now, when I was stripping it out, I knew this was gonna be a problem. When I was stripping it out, I thought I'd come up with the perfect solution and thought, how clever, this is gonna be brilliant. This is amazing. Why did nobody tell me to do it this way? I'm gonna revolutionize caddy carpet lining. Then I Googled it and it turns out people have been doing it since the caddy came out. So yeah, not quite the uh, pioneer that I thought, but it's a pretty cool little trick. And why other vans don't come so you can do this, I don't know. But I'll explain that in another video. Um, this side is all in as well, done, finished. Side steps in, looking absolutely mega, all finished nicely here. When we get the floor on, the floor will sit just on top of that. Um, and hopefully the carpet will roll around the edge and that will finish that off nicely. Um, but that is another day done on this little project. Um, carpet lining is finished. Um, so we've sand ended it. Insulation is for the most part in the walls done. Carpeted. We've still got the panels to do that go on the van, the sliding door and the rear doors. We've got to make a new ceiling, which shouldn't be too difficult. We've got the original headlining to template off. Um, and we've got to make a new floor as well, which again, we've got the floor to template off, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But we will leave that one there, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Hopefully this new little series you learned something from or at least enjoyed watching it. If you have enjoyed watching it and you're not already subscribed, do please consider clicking subscribe, give the videos a like and give us a comment. All helps with the YouTube's algorithm of trying to grow the channel. If it is the first video you've seen, we've got plenty of other stuff for you to watch. Uh, head over to the homepage of my channel and have a look. The T5 on there, and I'm currently restoring a Mark 1 Golf as well. But thank you all so, so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy.